hi welcome back again and here i am with the another exciting video about the jira workflow here we will look some advanced feature of the jira workflow and the first feature is trigger how you can add the trigger in your jira workflow this is my workflow that i have created in the previous videos and this is the demo workflow the name of the workflow is a demo workflow now we'll see how we can add the trigger in the transition here you can see it's a to do to in development uh, we have a transition in development when i will click in in development then in the right side there is a window where we have some options like properties triggers conditions validators and post function in this video i'll cover the triggers but in the coming video i'll tell you how you can add the properties conditions validators and the post functions these are really important if you are designing a workflow for your organization then you have to use these options now we'll click on the triggers here you can see we want to put this uh, trigger in the in development transition it means when the issue will transition from to do to in development state and then in in development transition this particular event should be performed here you can see we have the triggers conditions validators and the post function but in this video we'll cover the triggers here and here you can see we don't have options to create a trigger why because right now i am editing an active workflow you cannot edit the active workflow you have to create the draft first then you can do it so i'll click on the create draft here and here you are editing a draft workflow now i can do it i'll go to the trigram again and then you will click on the in development transition and then triggers and here we have options to add the trigger as of now now i'll click on add trigger and there are the multiple option here pull request created pull request merged pull request declined pull request reopened branch created committed review review submitted and many more it means like uh, automatically transition the issue when a related pull request is created in the connected repository or your issue will automatically transition the issue when a related branch will be created in the connected repository and it will be really helpful for the developer who is working in a story he will just create a branch and his issue will automatically be transitioned from one status to the another status there is no need to go back to the jira and then change the statuses from to do in progress and whatever the status is so it is really helpful to add the trigger so that your developer can save your time and their status can be transitioned from one status to the another status automatically and when you will choose uh, maybe you want to create a branch let's suppose i'll click on create branch and when you will hit the next then it will show the trigger resource hey, right now i have already connected my github account with my jira that's why it's showing and it will uh, you can connect your a trigger source whatever you have maybe gitlab or maybe github or maybe bitbucket whatever you have and then you will click on add triggers it will create a trigger right now there is a one trigger here and trigger name is branch created automatically transition the issue when a related branch is created in the connected repository you can view the details that you want and you can create the other triggers as well as much as you want like pull request commit created and whatever you want so this is really a good option if you want to read more about the triggers you can go to this link read a guide on configure triggers and you can get the more knowledge about the triggers this is uh, the way how you can add the trigger in your workflow and when you will finish will adding the triggers you can click on publish draft and it will be publish when i will click on publish draft then it is asking me you are about to publish the workflow this will override the active workflow yes i want and do you want to save a copy no i don't want to save a copy and then i can click on publish here we have our demo workflow and this is shared by one project and project name is development this is how you can add the trigger in your 
workflow that's all for this video in the next video i'll talk about the validators properties post functions and the other options that we have in the advanced jira workflow thanks for watching this video have a great day